Two evenly matched squads ready to duke it out. Aiden Berg kicks it away. 862 football on the CW. Washington slams past the 20 yard line on the return for Washington. Really a bugaboo form in the Miami loss into the red zone six times with two touchdowns. This is a flip to Washington trying to turn that corner past the 30 yard line. And Washington first down yardage. Harvey on the tackle. He can definitely go and go is just what this offense will do on the hurry up. With tempo for the Cavaliers, and that's past the 45. And that is a first down with a seven yard gain. Ball out near midfield for Virginia on second down. Little play fake. Musket lets it go. Inside the 50, leaping attempt. And the ball taken away by Georgia Tech and Miles Sims. Sims comes up with the interception. Sacked six times last week. It's not a sack here, but even better perhaps if you're a Jacket fan. The pressure is there. Too much air under that football, and it looked for a second like Fields was going to be able to bring it down. But Miles Sims never giving up on the play and seems to take it away now. Hometown Longview, Texas, East Texas product here. Tries the same side of the field. Committee tackled by Virginia. Quick release, twisting grab out by the 18. That could be short of the marker. Davies is deep, punt from Shanahan. Back tracking at the 25. Now turning up field and lunging for the 30. Interestingly enough, at the break, it looked like Colandria was coming back in. But that's first down yardage on the move by Mike Hollins. Calandria, of course, has played in four games. So if he comes in again, there goes the red shirt. That is the first completion of the season, Brusterhouse. And it's Washington down the sideline. Brusterhouse had only had two rushing attempts as far as statistics are concerned prior to coming in for the injured Tony Musket. It's Hollins again. About a month or so ago. And NC State kicked the last second field goal. This pass down near the 10 as he finds Mike Hollins. Calandria at quarterback. Virginia in the red zone. Pass to the end zone. And caught for the touchdown. Josh Rollins. A nine-yard TD pass from Anthony Calandria. Calandria looking to the end zone and finding number 89. Rollings for the touchdown. 7 0 Cavaliers. Just finding a way to help the Who's get into the end zone. The freshman from St. Pete, Florida. You guys are going to lean on to make some big plays against this high powered offense today. The sack with the leading tackler for Virginia, although breaking some tackles is Jamal Haynes. First down and more. He's inside the 40, 18 yards on the play. Yeah, electric. And not a real big guy. Here's the ref cam. Good job blocking up the 7 0 lead as we tick inside of eight minutes to go in our first quarter. Anthony Calandria had to come in. Well, that's a dangerous play on the edge there. But the 35 and a loss of one. Overloaded to the left side with three receivers. King, pass. Complete for first down yardage, down to the 27. Breaks it down right as he passes those sticks and the ball's waiting on him to move the chains. Haynes toward his own bench. Aaron Falmui tracked him down. So he's fresh and he can go. Third and seven. King looking and firing over the middle and it's dropped. Tried to find Singleton Jr. 41 yard attempt for Aiden Berg. Richard freshman. 41 yards away and he sails it through. Georgia Tech leads the ACC in takeaways now with 16. After the Miles Sims interception. They'll keep it on the ground at Jones this time. Near the 30-yard line. First attempt on third down. Calandria. Buys a little time and a pump face. 
finally gets rid of it. That's completely up for grabs at the 40 and intercepted Tatum. Calandria was dancing on the sideline, and then Tatum came away with it. There is a flag on the play as well. There's nothing short of a miracle. Pace. Georgia Tech was ready for that rushing attempt and a loss of two. For Anthony Calandria, the freshman from St. Petersburg, Florida, has come in for the injured Tony Muskie who started this game. Calandria will tuck it and run it across midfield. Puts the shoulder down. Takes on the contact at the 41 or two. Jalen King made the stop. Surprise anybody in this house because he put the shake on Peyton Wilson in the open field a couple times and how about the toughness so here's another big third down last time it was Calandria on the run this time it's a pass that flutters out to the 35 yard line to J.R. Wilson maybe trying to make the Jackets jump here and will snap it Calandria again a couple of moves batters his way inside the 30 First start against James Madison, a close loss where he threw two TD passes. He's pressured this time, and he goes down. Calandre is sacked Kyle Kennard. Yeah, he walks Lake Steele right back into the lap of Calandre. I mean, that's just pure power. Sixth sack of the season for Kennard, who had four at Wake Forest, and now a 48-yard attempt. Will Betridge. Not quite enough. Excellent job of filling by Jonas Sinker. Georgia Tech, that's near the marker. They had been 0 for 3 on third down attempts. Singleton Jr. Georgia Tech, third most improved offense in the football bowl subdivision. They've got the first down into Virginia territory with Dante Smith. Eight yards on the carry and a first down. Two national titles, Beckett. Georgia Southern, and, well, just the way Paul Johnson would like it to get that first down. It used to be a big curveball for football teams to go against that option offense that would come at them in midseason. 348 yards rushing a week ago against North Carolina. That's to the 20 for Dante Smith and a first down. Set ball spotted and ready to go. Georgia Tech looking for short yardage and a first down. It's going to be close. It's Smith. He ran into Paul Akiri. He's a former offensive lineman right there at that school. You better expect him to play some good ball up front. Pass just inside the 10. Twisting down near the 5. Dylan Leonard wrapped up by Sanker. And there are two markers out on the field. Roll after the penalty. King has it and he walks in untouched. Faked the little toss to his right. And then took it to the end zone for the Yellow Jackets. For Haynes King, little fake to the side and untouched into the paint. Ten to seven. You, you get him on the fly, get him out of there, trying to go make the play on the fake. And an easy stroll. A TD catch by Rawlings, the first of his career for the senior from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The third and short. That's Calandria with the ball pop out near midfield. Georgia Tech says it has the ball, and the officials agree. The fumble and the recovery by Georgia Tech as Jalen King falls on it for the Yellow Jackets. Love the scrap of the young quarterback, Calandria, but you've got to take care of that football. First things first, Jackets. For Virginia and the fumble recovery, Georgia Tech has the ball just into Virginia territory. They may lose some yardage here, though. This one, Haynes King, he lost one. Defense just keeps on coming. One more fumble recovery. They lead the ACC coming in with seven. Now it's eight. King flutters that pass near the 40. A twisting grab and caught. Big play after big play. Forcing the third and long here. They'll bring four. King got it away. Incomplete. Dylan Leonard. Tech stops the run again. Plays football. Jet sweep, not let him get his shoulders turned north and south. Andrew's pass is incomplete. 
First three and out of the game for Virginia. Sparks on the punt. Backtracking Blaylock. Blaylock to his own 40 and now up to midfield. He's on the Virginia side of the 50 on the return by Blaylock. Punt was 56 yards for Singleton. King still has it. He's got a hole inside the 40 for King. Taken down by Cohen King. For the Yellow Jackets after his transfer. Inside of four minutes to go in the second quarter. Jamal Haynes wrapped up by Paul Akiri in a loss of two. Four of eight on third down in the game for Georgia Tech. King again waving his way. with his second rushing touchdown of the game for Georgia Tech. We get all eyes on that fake to the jet sweep, and it gets those linebackers flying out of there. There you saw Ahern, who overruns his gap. And once again, not much friction as he makes his way down to the end zone. And Georgia Tech, now a 10-point lead. Here's another important third and short. One for five on third down. That ball is deflected. Deflected on third and short. Saw him knocking down balls against Griffiths in the win. They've done it a few times here against Calandri. Second tip by Biggers. It's a fair catch attempt at the 30 by Dominic Playlock. Plenty of time for Georgia Tech to drive. Virginia Tech, Virginia can't let him do it. It's a first mm -hmm. down down the sidelines for Haynes. Nice blocking on the outside. There you saw on James Jackson. Mm -hmm. about the 42. King likes to hang on to it. Shakes a couple of Virginia Cavaliers down the sideline. Adding to his career high and rushing, and then he gets bumped out of bounds. Just to start, snap is high and hard. He gets tangled up there with the read, pulling the ball out of the belly of the back, and then is off to the races and a good job blocking downfield. He made fast friends with King's dad. And then he decided to transfer from Texas A&M. They jumped all over it. Here's the rush. Smith breaking through. Head into the end zone. Dante Smith, the rushing touchdown for Georgia Tech of 33 yards. Good job initially up front, but after that, it's just guys not getting off blocks down the field in wrong angles. And Dante Smith, the fresh legs of the young man who hasn't carried the football that much here in his senior year. And long after the holding penalty pushed him back. We'll see. Maybe right. back by popular demand from James Bates. Calandria standing tall in the pocket, completing the pass. And up past the 35 yard line. Georgia Tech's been carrying the football. 195 rushing yards, as you mentioned, James. Flag is out on this play as Calandria taken down at the 30. There are two penalty markers. And he's missed from 48 already in this game, though. As long as 47 from last year. Washington finds a crease. In that secondary, and he's down to the 22. Malik Washington with a grab. Go to your playmaker in protection. Nice clean pocket. Great look at it right there by our camera crew. And Malik Washington dancing a little bit, but getting 39 yard field goal attempt. Betridge to add three for the Cavaliers, and he's got it. They're trying to win back-to-back -back games for the first time since early October of last season. They won at Pitt and home against Duke, and that Pitt game was one of those wins in the ACC against a ranked opponent for Brent Key. He's done that twice this season. Defense on first down. They've had a lot of success on first down, and I guess it won't matter on second and long. They just will keep moving those chains as that pass is complete. Holding that takes him back to first and 20, just like we saw at the end of the first half. 21st pass attempt of the game for King on schedule, on time, and into the end zone. Eric Singleton Jr. and the touchdown for the Yellow Jackets.
So here you go, the first catch would just make it the sure thing, a little stutter and go, and just enough time for the speedster who runs a sub 10 400 meter dash. He's back to his ways of making plays, just like he was last week against UNC, putting that speed to work. Third down and three. Washington gets hit almost immediately. Kenneth Johnson with the initial contact, only a yard, and now fourth and about two. 4-14 and one all time, and talked for a while about Brent Key struggles as a player and coach here, but not so far in this football game. 10.30 about left to play in the third quarter. 16 yards to Blaylock. The handoff Smith, he gets tracked down near midfield. It's good hustle by Chico Bennett to get to the running back. Six of ten on third down. Five of their last six converted on third down. King tosses it. Smith at the 40, lunging for the first down. And it looks like he's got it off near the 38. They got 12 yards on the play. Ref Cam showing us that first down effort. Smith. Catch up with him. Aaron Famui. Let's see if Rudd brings a couple guys here. Back him out only four-man rush. King with the deep ball. Is it the money ball? Oh, it was incomplete. Calandria's pass is off target. And bouncing around to the turf looking for Kobe Pace. On some of those shorter routes and, of course, against the run as well. Sparks with the punt. Blaylock wants a fair catch. Goes back near the 25 and makes it. Talking about North Carolina on the ground, but they would go away from it. And there's a big third down. And move those chains. If he's not dead, he's playing. No matter how bad he's hurt, he's going to play for you. And, you know, just a, a tough, tough guy. And playing through a lot of injuries and playing tough. And that's one thing that Tony Musket did really throughout this year. Not bad. The numbers for Georgia Tech on third down, 8 of 13. Virginia got to catch the running back in the backfield and drop Haynes. Famui first on the scene. Buchanan's there as well. And a loss of two. Here's big Aaron Famui. Good job. It just... Just beating the block. Williams trying to come over and, and block him. And, and here's a to make them drive the entire length of the field. Your defense is playing so well. Let's see what they get out of Shannon here. Davies wants a fair catch, makes it near the eight. And if they can get Georgia Tech on their heels a little bit and get something rolling, get into a little bit of a rhythm. Calandria through the progression. Flushed out of that pocket. Up the middle and sliding safely into second base with a first down. Calandria, 12 yards on the scamper. Calandria getting it done. Little play fake, looking to throw. Open man, 45-yard line and close to first down yardage. It's enough to Washington and 11 on the play. Seventh play of the drive. One of eight on third down. This is Payne. Sidestepped the man at the 50 and took it down to the 42. Nine yards and a first down. Got to take a few shots downfield. Maybe you get a big flag. Maybe you come down with a 50-50 ball. From the 39 on third down for Calandria. Spins it down toward the sideline. It's too far. One for one on fourth down in the game for Virginia. Calandria looking left. It's bad. The pass was intended for Fields. A couple of rushing TDs and a passing TD of 58 yards in the third quarter by King to Singleton. But you know, Tom, as good as the offense has looked, I think really the story of the day is a defense that comes in. This is the Georgia Tech we expected. Second best in the ACC in total offense. Blasting through. Pass midfield. Near the 40 pass from Haynes for 22 yards. Yeah, big gap in this season where Dante Smith didn't have his hands on the ball running it. He didn't have his hands on the ball for five. King caught over the middle. Ball came out at the end. So did a flag. Scooped up. 
It was Jannan who had the catch and then fumbled potentially here. Kyle ran it back. Let's sort this out. Also a penalty marker thrown back at the 20. Long-term health of a lot of these, these student athletes. First and goal from the 10, Georgia Tech. Blasting through down towards the goal line and in for Dante Smith, who would not be denied. Takes it the 10 yards to the house for Georgia Tech. He's, he's really happy, not only with the way that Dante Smith has, has played out on the football field, but, but he's battled through some injuries. And after that, that absence from carrying the football, and the Tigers rallying a little bit, taking it back to Death Valley and getting that win. And he's quick with the snap, and then we saw Syracuse, and then the mighty Georgia Bulldogs coming to town. One and three in conference play. Georgia Tech four and four. Three and two in the conference. Calandria. Fields reaching for it. Can't get to it. Late flag. And find a way to get something good going for the offense. you got to hang on to those balls that are in your hands. Calandria has an open man inside the 40 in its fields. Breaks a tackle. And then spins down near the 25. The mark of inside of that. Kenan Johnson. Ticking down. Now down under 920 left to play. Washington. First down to the eight yard line. Calandria. Down towards the goal line. Diving forward and in for the touchdown. What an effort from Kobe Pace after the catch. And an eight yard TD toss from Calandria, his second of the day. Go. A little, little something good going for the hometown Wahoos. And we'll take a look at it, of course. And uh, that one should stand. Certainly looked like that ball crossed the plane before his knee went down. Good look from the ref. And yeah, touchdown. Kobe Pace. Good effort for the transfer from Clemson. Trust. It was good. Third receiving TD of the season for Kobe Pace. Threw for over 250 yards and engineered the fourth quarter comeback 27 16 to win a 28 27 breaking away Haynes and he's gonna go a distance Jamal Haynes to the end zone and that play took 43 yards as he took it to the house with all that space here's one more look at it and a good job this entire game by that offensive line up front and then the skills guys doing the rest. The hustle from big Luke Benson. There to hug him up in a hurry. One cut and then he gets to full speed in a hurry. Dre Walker there right in the open. And, you know, when Dante Smith wasn't running things like he is right now, they really leaned on him and Trey Cool quite a bit. up there midfield continues to pile up the catches eight for 82 yards we find Harrison will step out of bounds stop the clock pit over Louisville Virginia over North Carolina I just, I just knew that this one was going to be a great game just surprised that it was, it's really been so lopsided and there's a heck of a play if I'm not mistaken it's now six or seven games total and I don't think that's ever been done in one season. Good job here defensively by Eddie Kelly. Dallas in there as well. Georgia Tech so strong on the road against ACC opponents. If they win today, they're 6-1 and one in their last seven road games. And the defense does it again, tracking down Calandria, although a flag came out after the play by Kennard. Recruitment process of... Both Musket in Washington as they transfer. Here's Washington again, and they said they went to see Musket. So they both came to town, and they've been roommates ever <laughs> since, and they hooked up many times this season. Intercepted at the three and returned by Jalen King. Takes it out near the 15. And 
Jalen King has been very active today as well. There you see just reading the eyes of Calandria and the senior from the every game. Oh, just got the play away. Pyron will keep it. He had to fight to keep it, didn't yeah. he? He didn't want to let it go. He's got a first down, it looks like, too. He does. And he got out of that funk of dropping those two big ones early on. Georgia Tech is up over 500 yards of total offense here in Charlottesville in this series that goes back to 1965. In the 45th meeting, We'll go to the Yellow Jackets with 43 seconds to go. That'll stop the clock. It's going to feel good once they get on that plane heading back to Atlanta. Davies is deep. Scoops up the ground ball to 12. He gets rudely sent out of bounds by Georgia Tech coverage. They've lost eight in a row in that series with the Tigers, but the important thing today, first back-to-back -back win since early October of last season for this Georgia Tech program.